Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite scents, perfumes that I like to pull out during fall and winter. So if you would be interested in knowing what I like to wear during these cooler months, then just keep on watching. Okay, so basically I have about five different scents that I have um, pulled out that I'm going to be wearing this fall and into winter. And in no particular order, I will be going over them. And like I said, I only pulled out about five. All of these are probably a little bit more on the warmer, spicier side. That's what I like to pull during fall and winter when it starts getting cooler out. And then when it starts getting cold, I like to have perfumes that are a little bit more of a warmer scent that kind of stick close to the body that work very well with the heat of your body. So that way when you're wearing your layers, and you have um, all your clothes, lots of layers of clothes for some of you guys. Some of you guys get really cool uh, winters. We don't so much here in Oklahoma anymore. Um, matter of fact, even though I have, you know, that it's fall here in Oklahoma, we are still running our air conditioners. So <laughs> anyway, I don't think it's ever going to get cool. But anyway, so I wanted to first to kind of share with you what I have created my on my eyes today. And I used one of the palettes that I would have just shown in my last haul video. And I'll put an eye card up there if you did not see that. But I do have this, the Nubian by Juevas, Juevas Place and is what I'm wearing. I just thought this would create a really nice, pretty fall look for today. Um, with these colors, I used um, this in the crease and then I have this in the outer edge to deepen it up. And then I have this in the inner corner just as a little bit of pop of, um, Oh, what do I want to say? Um, metallic color. Anyway, that's that color right there. It's really, really pretty. And this eye right here is um, may look a little wonky because um, unfortunately with fall also comes fall allergies for me. And here in Oklahoma, the ragweed is in abundance this time of year. And that's kind of like my, my kryptonite. <laughs> and I take allergy pills a nose allergy nose spray and allergy drops in my eyes and I still struggle with allergies this time of year anyway and then on my lips is also the Juevas Place um, lip matte lipstick in the color um, Afric and I would have just shown this in my haul video also so thought I would share you know what I created the look with um, since I just hauled those products. Anyway, let's get started with the perfumes. That's what y'all are here for, right? Okay, the first one I want to start with is this one here, and this is from Tom Ford. And of course, this is going to be the most expensive um, perfume that I'm going to be showing or sharing with you today. Um, I did purchase this at the CCO, which is the company, company cosmetic outlet, so I did get a really good um, discount on it. But anyway, this is the Tom Ford Cafe Rose, and it is Eau de Perfume, and it's what the bottle looks like, just a really nice black bottle, and I have barely, 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 barely used any of this, because this is one of the type of perfumes that um, less is more with this. Definitely would want to spray it and then walk through it, as opposed to spraying it directly onto your skin. Um, less is more with this product. It is very long lasting. It's going to last all day long. It has um, Turkish rose oil in it, Bargarian rose. Um, it has coffee essence in it, sandalwood and patchouli oil. So with those notes, you can definitely get a sense of the warmness that it has to it. It's perfect for these fall, um, crisp fall mornings um, going out, especially if you have to get out really early. Oh, and it just smells so good. Um, I'm not going to lie. It does have a little bit of the old lady rose scent to it, but I like that. 
I like that scent. I know some people don't. I love the smell of rose. This is definitely more of a sultry rose as opposed to a floral, fresh um, rose. This would be more of a rose that maybe has maybe like a dried rose scent to it. But it's definitely a deep rosy scent with spice to it because you can definitely get that coffee essence that you can smell in it and then of course it dries down to a really nice um, puccini scent um, it's very long lasting like i said a little goes a long way this is definitely not one of those perfumes that you want to just um, take it and go like this with it and spray it on you um, spray it and then like i said walk through it if you want a little bit more then spray it and walk through it again but normally one walk through of this is fine for me and it lasts all day and it will definitely sit close to the skin if you do it that way where you're not overpowering other people but when they get close to you or when you kind of walk by they'll catch a little um, whiff of it and it does smell very good i do recommend it the only thing is like i said is the price on it but if you can find it at your um, local cco and they're having a little discount on it it's worth picking up now the next one I have, I just have a sample of it. And this is probably my third or fourth sample that I've gotten um, from Sephora. And it's the Replica um, Jazz Club scent. And here's my little bottle of it. Now this scent is actually marketed as being a, a gentleman's scent, a male scent. But in my opinion, I really think that it's a unisex scent. I think man or woman can wear it. I actually wear it. I really wish my husband would wear it. I think, oh, I love the smell of it. He's not one to wear colognes, um, aftershaves. He, he just doesn't like that. So um, he wouldn't wear this, but oh man. It smells so good and it's exactly the name of it is called Jazz Club and that is the perfect name for this. It's just a warm and spicy woodsy scent. Definitely it's got that smokiness to it. Um, it has pink pepper, it has rum in it, and it has tobacco leaf. I really like the smell of um, perfumes that have tobacco in them. There is another one from Tom Ford that I had a few years ago that I really enjoyed. It was the Noor, I think it was, and it has the tobacco in it. Oh, man, but it smells so good. Um, I like the smell of a pipe. If someone is smoking a pipe, I like the smell of the tobacco from a pipe. Um, I'm just kind of weird that way, I guess. I don't know. Does anybody else like the smell of tobacco pipe? <laughs> pipe tobacco I do but anyway um, it's very long lasting this little bottle right here has lasted me a little while it does not take very much definitely one of those scents that if you had the full bottle of it you definitely would want to spray it and then kind of walk through it just to get a little bit on you to where it's not overpowering but oh man yes definitely has a little bit of a sweetness to it, but not a whole lot. I'm not really a big fan of perfumes that are sweet. Does have a hint of vanilla in it. Um, some people call it, call it or described it as being a boozy, warm vanilla. And definitely, I can smell the rum in it. I can definitely get that tobacco scent of it. Oh man, it smells good. So I do recommend um, Jazz Club by Replica. I actually had just placed a Sephora order and it was one of the samples that you could pick and so I picked it again so I'll have another one to wear. And believe it or not, I kind of like wearing that to bed and my husband likes the smell of that. And I'm thinking, you could be wearing this too. You could wear it, I could wear it, I could enjoy it on you, you could enjoy it on me, but <laughs> he just, he's not down for it. Darn it, I wish he would wear it, but anyway. The next one I want to talk about is this one here from Giorgio Armani, and this one is um, Giorgio Armani C. And this one, you could definitely wear it in the spring and summer. There was one that they had that was a rose-scented one that I had last summer that I enjoyed. Had a little bit of grapefruit smell to it also. But this one, to me, is more of a fall-winter 
floral scent. So if you like wearing florals, you're not really into the, the spicy or the warm or the vanilla scents, you might want to try the um, Georgia Armani C. And this one has black currant nectar in it. It has airy florals. Um, it does have a musky blonde wood, so the dry down is a little bit of a musky scent. But it's not overpowering. It's not like a really deep musky. It's more of a light floral musky. Um, it's just a really graceful and just modern scent. It's long lasting. It doesn't take much. Again, this is another one that I would spray it and then walk through it as opposed to just really kind of spraying it all over the body or all over the um, your clothing. Um, it does really start out as being a very floral scent, but as your body heats it up and it starts warming up, it really does become uh, that nice woody um, vanilla or musky scent to it with just a hint of floral. So very pretty. So definitely if you're looking for a floral scent that's really good for fall and into winter, this would be a good recommendation. The next one that I have is from Nirvana, um, Elizabeth and James. It's one of their Nirvana uh, perfumes, and this one is the Nirvana Black. Um, this one is definitely a warm and spicy um, scent that's definitely got some woodiness to it. It has violet, it has sandalwood, and it has a rich vanilla. So if you don't like something that's vanilla, you probably won't like this because it does warm up to a really nice warm vanilla scent. You can definitely smell the vanilla as you're waving it this way. I can definitely smell the vanilla of it. Um, it is a little bit of a masculine scent also, so you could definitely, it could be definitely um, universal or unisex, if you if you will. Um, I could definitely see a guy wearing this, possibly, just because of the fact that it just warms up and it's a nice woody scent, a little bit on the masculine side, but not, you know, too masculine. I would say the replica, um, the Jazz Club, is, is definitely more masculine than what this is, but it can be done either way. And oh, I just love the smell of this. Now this one, I do like to spray it onto the body like this. Um, I do have the oil that is the black Nirvana oil, but I don't think it smells the same as the spray. And I don't think that it is as long lasting as the spray is. And you would think with it being an oil that it would be. It was in a kit, a perfume kit that I had bought um, off of Hot Look that came with this bottle here. But I just really like this bottle. I was trying to see how much I have in here because I've been wearing this. As soon as it started getting a little bit cool here, even though we're still running the AC, it's still like in the low 80s, high 70s. This is the one that I have been wearing the most the last couple weeks. Um, this one is definitely going to be when it gets a little bit warmer or cooler, I mean. Same way with this one. This one's going to have to be a little bit some cooler weather but this one is definitely is something that I'm wearing now and it would be a good transition into the winter months also so and I think this has been around long enough that I think a lot of you have probably have smelt of this and know what it smells like but if you like a really warm vanilla scent you will definitely like the Norvana black And then the last one that I have is um, probably my newest favorite perfume of all time. And this is another one from Elizabeth and James, another Nirvana, but this is the Nirvana um, Bourbon. Oh, my stars. It, it kind of reminds me of the Replica Jazz Club with the fact that it does have, you know, the um, the boozy smell to it, but it's, more, it's the the bourbon as opposed to the rum. Oh my gosh, this has tuberose, oak wood, and bourbon vanilla in it. Um, it's just, mm, I absolutely am in love with this perfume. It's definitely a warm vanilla with just a hint of sweetness, not too much sweet, but definitely you get that, that 
bourbon smell to it. Um, whereas the Nirvana Black, you really get the vanilla smell with this one. This one, you're getting more of that bourbon, woodsy, smoky scent to it. Mm. And the spice, you just can you just can't go wrong with this scent. I've got to put one more on. That's why I have one today. Oh, I could just smell it all day long. Yeah, you can definitely smell. It doesn't list that it has um, tobacco in it, but I get, I get a hint of tobacco. I do, and I love that. I love the smell of a tobacco-scented perfume cologne. Oh, and this was this was Odo perf perfume. All these were Odo perfumes. But anyway, definitely recommend the bourbon by um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana, and have been quite enjoying this. And I probably will probably be having this in the empties at the end of the winter. You wait and see. I probably will because I have been wearing. Mm, I just love that. Love that smell. Anyway, so that are my top five picks for fall scents, fall going into winter perfume um, that you might want to, next time you're in Sephora, take a little sniff of them, have them make you up a little sample of it and test it out and give it a go. I couldn't tell you which one would be my absolute favorite. Um, let's see, let's do it in the order of how I think. I think first would be the bourbon and then would be the black then would be the jazz and then would be the tom ford um, cafe rose and then would be the giorgio armani c um, the giorgio armani c i can see me picture me wearing this when i'm a little bit more dressed up as opposed to these scents where my favorite attire during the winter is a long sleeve thermal type shirt with a vest um, a puffy vest. I love wearing vests. So these are going to go perfect with, with that type of attire. Anyway, thank you so much for joining. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.